The Flavio SMP. I'm gonna buy some super shrooms. In case I need them. Okay. I actually probably I'm gonna i I'm gonna eat. Like the first time in 2B2T history. This is the first time I've used an in. I think. Unless you count I the think best so. in yeah. pit. No, except for in the glizzy pit. Yeah. But I mean the glizzy pit there's no toad and it doesn't cost money. Dark. Make it that way. Why are you want? Uh, are you my two first? Okay, I do uh, probably do the fishy glitch one more time to get that pipe open. The stream thumbnail is Mario just dead on the ground of you trying to do the fishy glitch. Is it actually? For me, it's me in the shop. Oh. oh I, I know. Get a... I get flop a plus. Okay, so now I just have that opened. So now, all I need to, um... I, all I need... I don't need to do it again, but I'm gonna do it anyways to flex. Because it's faster than going all the way around. It's not. Just watch. Just watch. It's gonna take three hours. You're <laughs> busy, glizzy. Uh oh, but where's the door? No. All I need is a bit. Oh, I told you it was faster. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Say I won't do it. Say I won't do it. Say I won't do it. I'm gonna do it every day. Say I won't do it. I'm gonna do it every day. Say I won't do it. Say I won't do it. Actually, I do need to go down here to actually get the star. So I'm gonna do this. I can break this block. <laughs> That makes my life so much easier. This is so tranquil. The star piece here, I just know it. I lie. We can have Miss Mouse for the cutscene. Like, no one's ever done that before. <laughs> <laughs> Advancement unlocked. I have Miss Mouse be there for some reason. <laughs> you didn't even. Did they not program her to say anything? Are they meant to say something to? beforehand? Or is it afterwards? I don't know. I thought I they know. said something beforehand too. Like, okay, get started. Okay. 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 So we start <laughs> chapter 5. I saw 10 seconds of the video. I think I get it. You start chapter 5. You get Flavio. But then we have that pipe open before we're meant to, so we go through yes. the pipe, go to chapter Absolutely. 6, and then yes. it makes sense. Yes! Of course. Of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's something, there's another thing, because he rejoins your party, so you gotta, like, do some jank. Okay. Like, right before the chapter ends. Let me watch I the think, rest of the video anyways. I think you have to miss thing, out on the, 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 the final crump battle. I, Not the final, I but do? the pirate crump. Battle. Pirate Crump is really cool. I rode the train and stopped at the station. We could just watch the video and pretend we're playing. required to complete chapter six. <laughs> On top of that, we need the Ultra Boots to get the Ultra Hammer, and without these two things, our progress becomes halted. Surprisingly, it's a pretty easy Gosh, fix. Yeah. Enter the pipe to Posley Heights and trigger the cutscene outside of the Gosh, Sanctum. Yeah. Then go back into Keelhole Key and enter Pirate's Grotto. Since we put the game in a chapter six state, it already assumes that we completed chapter five and all the changes to the environment are made. This means we can walk right into Pirate's Grotto without having to blow up the entrance and triggering Flavio to leave. When entering the grotto, Chapter 5 will be re-triggered, so all the important stuff that we need is still waiting to be unlocked. Star. We're still able to unlock the chest containing the paper boat. Now we're able to finish Chapter 5 and get the Crystal Star. Back outside, Flavio will normally come up and speak to you, so now there are two Flavios on screen that are completely unaware of each other. Now here's something you need to avoid doing. When Lord Crump attacks the island, Flavio will join you. This overrides the glitch Flavio we had. If we were to fight Lord Crump and progress the story normally, the game will take Flavio away from us like it's supposed to. Thankfully, we can still prevent that from happening. When the normal Flavio joins you, instead of going back to speak to Cortez, just walk to the warp pipe like we did earlier. Now we have everything we need from Chapter 5. Okay, so I guess... I trigger it, and then I do have to miss out on the final Lord Crumb battle, but I can still fight the Skull Guy, I think. I have to s I get to skip all the fun puzzles, too. Which is really, really... I don't care, but it's okay. Okay, Fragby. Bone chilling. My god. 
No one's ever had this rat for like any cutscene ever. <laughs> this you rat. What? 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 You strange, strange man. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you do have the rat <laughs> in the cutscene. The rat's my new favorite. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's important. I don't it's need strange, you! Strange, man. I don't need you, I have the speedrunner tutorial. I don't need you anymore. Frankly. I should've read what the rat said. Wait, it's not too late. It's too late. It's still <laughs> far too late. It's too late. You can go back? Yes! <laughs> oh my. I suppose we better shake our tails. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the next one located, Jarvis? They could have made Mario talk, but they decided to what? Sniff. <laughs> they could have made Mario talk, but they decided you probably have to ground pound. Oh wait, you are ground pounding. Do they know? They could have made Mario talk, but they programmed in like eight <laughs> partner con conversations. It's crazy because they could have made Mario talk, but they programmed like eight other people to talk. That's what I just said. It's crazy because like. <laughs> Where are you? Wait, we have to talk to Luigi. We do have to talk to Luigi. Alright, Luigi, hit me. Hit me with hit your me knowledge. With your best shot. I headed to Circuit Break um, Island and got me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. It was pretty nuts, bro. I wanna hear what happened. It's a long story. I wanna hear the Circuit Break Island. Wait, does this have to be a new episode? No. Okay. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Just as our boat arrived at Sugar Brick Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that they held kart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule that island as king for that day. Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding the reward ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes. Right there on the trophy, they gave it to the winner. There's another piece of the Marvelous Compass. I almost passed dead away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in kart races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The carts were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right out of there pronto. Those drivers were crazed. I thought I said they were cracked. But I worked up my courage and signed up anyway, and my race day finally came. I got one of the best cards, the big green 01. Took my position at the star line. The light went green, I stomped the accelerator, and something bad happened. I was in reverse, the big green 01 went rocketing backwards with me yelling. Crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut me off of its green. And when it fell swoop, I dropped into my in the last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. All the other cards crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the piece off of the trophy and added it to my marvelous compass. Compass came to life and pointed me toward Jezefraz Town in the east. And then I heard that voice, Princess Play's voice, echoed in my ears once again. Oh, my princess. Random words with some poetry spoken by your voice. I almost definitely saved you. Just wait for me, Princess Leclerc. Oh, so sorry about that. After that, I got it back on my boat and came back to her. That's what's been up with me. Oh. No! 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 Oh. Anyway. Anyway. Wait, we gotta talk to that guy. Who? The green guy. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm Torque. <laughs> well, for a second, the suit sink could say the whole story. The only reason I lent him my rig was because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it. Idiot. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he repays me the 5,000 coin repair costs. <laughs> Don't Where? forget Flavio. Yo. It's a boom, bass, a boom festival. Disco captain cast his gaze. These red duel shines and plays. It's a boom, bass, a boom festival. These dash brothers.
Best of friends, three times red stash lands on his hand. Blue stash is belly, four times is whacked. Now all the fireworks boom and crack. It's a boom, it's a boom, a festival. That's beautiful. <laughs> D R E. There, you're lucky. <laughs> is it, is is there a star piece in there? Is there, is there a. Die. Is it? <laughs> the rat. Where's the rat? No, nope, he's not gonna a... be back for like ten years, apparently. Is there a secret here? I have to do it after the. Yeah, after. Oh, hello. Wow, it's just a ship here. Secret block, anyone? <laughs> okay, thank you. That's really helpful. There's a secret block here. Oh. I have to go back to the... First Thanksgiving? I have to go back to Don Pianta, I think. But we have to go back to the first Thanksgiving. To get to Bingus take... on the menu. What? Yeah? The menu of cats to be pet, right? Um... Not, uh... Not, not the menu of... Um... Eating. Right? Well... Well... <laughs> um... Is that Gunther? Um... I'm a wanted <laughs> Goomba. <laughs> what? I'm not wanted by anybody, Oh... Uh, you silly Goomba. It's a Classic. boom, it's a boom. Festival... The red jewel shiny... Shiny when What's the prizes here? This is just a whole part of the game that I've just not paid any mind to. It's a boom bass a boom festival. You can get cake super appeal. Refund. That's crazy. Oh, that's too bad. What? Gunther? Me, I'm on top of the world, baby. What's that? You wanna know? Well, let's see. <laughs> Dude, boy. <laughs> you hope someone in trouble, maybe they'll give it to you. It's a boom, bass a boom. It's a boom, bass a boom. Festival! Oh, they just let me back here whenever. It's crazy like that. They're just Gonzales like that. Hey, is this you got? You gotta be. Oh, I don't have to go. Here. Hey, hey, you oh, again, the buck. I have to talk to Flavio. I bet. It's a boom, bass a boom festival. festival. It's a boom. It's a boom, ba. It's, it's a boom. boom bass Me when I see a goomba, it's a boom, ba. It's a boom. 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 Step. Was that you? Me when I see something blow up, boom. Me when I see Bossa Nova, Bossa. <laughs> the rat? And what do you want? What do you want? I'm Flavio. And, and yet, what is it that I'm. What is missing from my life? Money? Money, me? Money you say Ah no foolish Flavio not honey you silly man what you meant to say was money ah but if it's money I wait the horse is a great idea struck It's a boom basa boom <laughs> You know Cortez we will go get his booty Uh huh I'm Flavio You want me to follow you? Forever, do we? To a Flavio. <laughs> it's a boom fast, a boom festival? No. Yes. I don't understand. <laughs> Wait. I don't understand. How do I solve this? I'm not flowy. Bro talks so much. <laughs> it's a boom <laughs> bus. <laughs> He's like Luigi. What? The rats? <laughs> Talk to you, good sir. Okay, don't 
talk to him. The boom, by the boom. <laughs> it's a boom, bass a boom, boom, bass a boom, bass a boom. It's a boom, bass a boom. The squad, what? Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I forgot about this. Uh, uh, please to meet you. Acquainted. Uh, you're not supposed to be up here. <laughs> so it is you. Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. The beast you rise on this outrageously fantastic ship. I don't fucking care. Fuck you. Oh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, Fabio. How did you talk with this? Wait, you nailed his voice though. <laughs> Well, so I'm not talking about a fame. No, a legendary sailor living in Rupert. Yeah, I think his name is Admiral Bobbery. I'm sorry, you'll see dog by all accounts. But, he said, I'm a hell's man's man touch, sir. <laughs> you can make any shit bow to his will. You can make any shit bow to his will? What? Hey, is that ain't a what scene of him on the season, late? Eh? It's a boom, 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 it's a I'm gonna play on my next hardcore in like two years. Oh, and I'll play that random British game. It's a boom, it's a boom, I'm gonna just jump in the water and die. That's the boom. It's a boom, it's a boom. Boom! Oh my god, he has a skin. <laughs> it looks so awesome. The, the bomb or Flavio? Flavio! It's a boom, it's a boom. <laughs> this is the best skin I've ever seen. <laughs> Yo, let me send it to you, sir. <laughs> this guy also made Harold Total Drama a Minecraft skin. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm deading you. Deading you. I don't care about anything else. Or you see a grenade. Quite simple. It's really quite simple. I it's quite simple, isn't it? Please. Please. Just hear, hear me out. Who the fuck are you? What? What the hell? It's the rat. Gritty. <laughs> Gritty. This guy's name is Gritty. Wait. Okay. What story you want to hear? Benjivon and the four heroes. Okay, wait. Okay, yeah. For a mere five? <laughs> a mere five dollars! She used her powerful magic to learn more about the evil they face. We cannot destroy the darkness alone, she decided her face. <laughs> we need the Toad Hero, the Petal Metals, and the wise Goomba of Boggly Woods. There are no Goombas there, by the way. If you get something for listening to all the stories. No. Absolutely not. 5, 10, 15, 25. 5, 10, 15, 25. 25, 30, 35, 40. For 40 coins. From here. 5 dollars. 40 coins, I could get something awesome. Nervous? Look up what listening to all of Grifty's stories does. <laughs> Uh, Grifty. Oh. 
It's literally just a lore dump. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I'm glad you researched it. <laughs> Let me just hack out of the mainframe real quick. Oh, I found him. What do you blokes want? Hello? Yeah? <laughs> I just slammed my keyboard to hack out of the mainframe. <laughs> it just closed Discord. No. Well, you hacked out. And now your stream won't load. Uh oh. It's a boom bot. It. It's a boom bot. A boom. Are you alive? I just like make sure you cut out. It's a boom bot. A boom. Festival, it's a boom bass a boom. Festival. It's a boom bass a boom. Boom bass a boom boom. They, they died. They're back. Hello? Hello? Boom bass a boom? The boom bass a boom. <laughs> Festival. Festival! It's a boom bass a boom. It's a boom bass a boom. Everything <laughs> is no, yeah, I know him. But Rock, you just left him be. Boom bass a boom bass a boom boom. I can't just leave him be. Boom bass a boom bass a boom boom. Good sir, I need to. You don't understand, sir. Boom basha boom festival boom basha boom festival boom basha boom festival boom basha boom festival put a dump Bobbery, we need to cook. Bobbery. <laughs> you wanna cook? Him? You wanna cook a big flopper? Where does he sleep? In the fireplace. <laughs> Why does he have axes on the ceiling? Two of them. I'm not sincerely with you ever. Flavio, we need your help. Russell! Oh, that's where we hear the sad story. Uh, my wife died before I was born. My wife died after I was born? Oh. oh. Wait, you said your wife died before you were- Wait, No, I'm gonna I get the rat out for this cutscene. <laughs> the rat. <laughs> Please do, I can take it. We're ready, Bowery Seal logo, something like this. Bobbery with Bobbery once married. Bobbery is once married. He, he had, had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of were them mad were madly in love. Soul lovers are for Bailey, Barry, 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 stop. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. Bobbery's eye never drifted, he loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. They lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. Not all good things can last, it was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill, a virus, a passing cold, no one knew, but it soon, soon turned serious. Aubrey had seen on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had scummed, she was gone. Aubrey, of course, blamed himself, my loving wife perished because of me. If I were not a sea, I could have nursed her to health, I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts, they tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has since never gone out to sea. Aww. Why does romance so often end in tragedy? I just like eating cheese. You all know the tale now, so tell me, do you still want to return to see? 
Yes. Oh, <laughs> it's actually just gonna face down to the ground. <laughs> On your deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobby a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame itself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. So you're telling me she wrote that letter for him, and this guy just didn't give it to him. The strange little bingus. Thank you, Patty Harmonica. It's a boom, bass, a boom. It's a boom, bass, a boom. Festival. Whack the blue bellied guy four times. Jump on the red guy's head. It's a boom, bass, a boom. I have a letter for you. It's a boom, bass, a boom. Yeah. Guy in the blue up. shoes. You're looking a bit sad. It's a boom, bass, a boom. Boing. Scarlet, my, Scarlet love. my love. My love. My love. If you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. You can't do this to me. Because fate has stepped in between us, I've decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobery. <laughs> Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Aww. Though you will mourn, I beg that you will remember a time that time like love is a tide. You are the only one with this. You are the. You are, you are, you are the. <laughs> 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 A hundred and fifty parties! That's the most, that's the most, that's the one like serious moment in the whole game and you just did that. A hundred and fifty parties! <laughs> oh, he has another room. Oh, it's a door. I didn't even know that. It's the 150 year old door. I'm a happy! I love you! <laughs> uh, uh. Hola! <laughs> we we're looking for a navigator. Harum. Harum. <laughs> I wish you could have Barbary following you the whole time. You can. There's still no bed in here, dude. Well, you can have him follow you the whole time. What if you could have two Barbary? <laughs> now, if you could have the rat follow you the whole time, that would be fucking crazy. Um, I get, I mean, I mean. um, actually, you don't get the rat until after the fourth chapter, so... She can't really follow you the whole time now, can she? It's a boom, bass a boom. Festival! It's a boom, bass a boom, 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 boom. Festival. That's why 